on today's show we can take a look at the lobster thermidor but not just any lobster thermidor a bahamian lobster thermidor this recipe comes from the abacos a little place known as green turtle key where you can get the world famous original goombay smash right down there miss emily's blue bee bar hey that we've already done that <laughs> that's for another show anyway hey welcome to gourmet fishing i'm your host david murray we've got everything we need right here so let's go ahead and get started on our bahamian lobster thermidor right now Let's go ahead and get started on our Bahamian lobster thermidor. We've got everything we need right here. We've got kind of a, a double process that's going to happen. We're going to actually create um, our white sauce after we get all of these little goodies right here, kind of sort of fried up, sauteed up, not fried up, sauteed up. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some butter. We're going to add it to the pan over here. Then we've got some shallots. We've got uh, one shallot kind of nice and chopped up. We've got uh, about 10, no, we've got about eight uh, mushrooms. I've got those all uh, nice and sliced up. And we've got some uh, little bundle of fresh thyme right there. We've got about two uh, green onions, white and the green pork. Kind of cut those up, slice them up. We've got uh, probably, I don't know, maybe a, a quarter cup of um, chopped up parsley. We've got a lemon uh, and we've got some, uh, we've got two lobster tails that have been cooked and we've got those diced up. That's part one. Part two. Uh, oh, oh, also we got some, um, yeah, we got about some brandy. Now the, the Bahamian, the green turtle key recipe calls for white wine. I wanted to use brandy, so ha, that's what we're going to do. Anyway, so the white sauce, we're going to come in here with some more butter. Uh, we can create a roux with some flour. Then we got some parsley, some salt, a little bit of cayenne pepper. We've got some chicken broth. And again, we're going to be using a little bit of our lemon juice and we'll also be throwing <laughs> some brandy in there too so i tell you what let's see here we're gonna go ahead get started i hope that this isn't too hot nope 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 boom just like that i'm gonna put this right up here that right there will be our white sauce beginning along with this i ain't gonna worry about it oh also we got some hot sauce that's gonna kind of sprinkle in there and give that white sauce a little a little extra bite uh, along with the cayenne pepper. So here we go. We got our uh, our cast iron skillet warmed up. Now I'm going to come in. We're going to add our um, our shallot, just like so. Grab myself a spoon, and we're going to begin sauteing. We're going to saute the shallots for uh, you know probably a couple of minutes first. Then we're going to come on, and we'll be adding our mushrooms. Heck yeah! All right, I tell you what, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to come in, we're going to add our mushrooms just like that. And we're going to get those nice and cooked down just the way mushrooms need to be. Heck yeah. And that will take us probably another two to three minutes. And then we'll be able to continue on with the recipe. Right, I tell you what, those are looking pretty daggone good. It's been, I think, a total of about three to four minutes cooking right here. So I'm gonna come in with uh, our green onions, just like so, voila. Ah, another another nice level of, of goodness going in, heck yeah. And we're gonna keep, uh, we're just gonna keep sauteing as we go, probably another minute or two there, and then we'll kinda sorta get rolling and getting closer and closer till it's time for the lobster. I'm going to tell you what, that is looking good. Got a nice little aroma to it. Now we're going to kick that up just a tad. we got some brandy here. Uh, like I said, the, the, uh, the Bahamian recipe calls for white wine. I just like, I just kind of like more of the, the brandy than I do the white wine. So, and be careful if you've got an open flame that, that you're cooking over like a gas, uh, a gas stove. You want to, you want to take that off that flame before you add this. Now we're going to come in here just like this and add about a quarter cup. And you may be asking, why do I need to be careful about my gas stove? Because of that right there. <laughs> the, 
the alcohol we've got in there. So, you know, that's going to, that's going to, where is my spoon? That'll burn off here in a second and we'll be left with just the good flavors of that brandy. So there you go. Little pyro techniques going on. <laughs> All right. Heck yeah. Whoop, there we go. Yes, sir. You see, that's, that's why you got to be careful if you're definitely cooking with gas. You need to be careful of that right there. And I'm going to come in here and we're going to add our parsley. And I'm going to come in here and bruise up our thyme. I'm going to add that in and we're going to stir everything together and get all those flavors to kind of sort of meld together. All right, I tell you what, oh man, that smells good. I'm going to come in here right now and I'm going to add some of our lemon zest to this. I'm going to use probably a half of the, uh, the lemon zest and <laughs> the lemon juice to add a nice little uh, acidic, delicious flavor to it. So we're going to come in here just like so. Yep, boom, add that in there. And, okay, again, not prepared. Grab a knife real quick. Make that cut right there. And we will save that and use it in a minute. And we'll come in right here. And we will add the juice. Just like that. Bingo. So, we've got all of that in there. Just like so. Oh man, oh that smells awesome right there. Now I'm gonna come in, uh, yep, I will, I will. I'm gonna come in right now. We're going to add our cooked lobster, just like so. Oh man, yum, yum. Now those were two small little three ounce uh, lobsters. Um, so, you know, you may wanna use four, I don't know. Anyway, hey, it's still gonna be good. So just like this, I'm gonna kinda sorta get this all kind of turned out I'm gonna warm that lobster up because it's already cooked and what we're gonna do about right now is I'm gonna get a, a my towel instead of burning myself <laughs> and I'm gonna transfer that just to another another pan or a plate or anything like that voila just like so And voila, we're going to do that and put this back on the heat, warm it up just a little bit more. Now with this, I'm going to come over here and we're going to let that rest right there. It's going to sit right there because we actually, we're almost, <laughs> almost done with this. And then we're going to come back in, add our other two tablespoons of Butter, like so turn that up a tad we'll get it nice and melted which will then help uh, help us uh, begin our bechamel sauce which is our white our white sauce that we also then we're gonna come in and add a few more flavors to that to really bring everything together now I mean, that was a little hard for me to say <laughs> it kind of sort of jumped on me but anyway here we go we've got our butter two tablespoons of butter two tablespoons of a flour just like that and we go I'm gonna turn this down we don't want to brown our roux at all so I'm gonna turn that way down just like so come on and we're just gonna kind of slowly cook this down and we're actually I take that back we're actually gonna make a blonde roux not no don't want a dark roux or anything like that so we are gonna slightly add just a little bit of color to that just like so. And we're gonna try to cook just a little bit of that um, flour flavor out of our roux, just like so. All right, now I'm gonna come in. We got a cup and a half of chicken broth. And look at that, that, that doesn't, <laughs> that does not look good at all. But watch this, we're gonna, we're gonna bring this whole thing together and it's gonna be delicious here in a second. Check this out, watch it, here it goes. All right, that came together nicely. It almost looks like we got uh, just a, a chicken gravy or something like that or, a star, or some type of a, a soup. But anyway, oh yeah, it smells delicious. Now, one thing I forgot to talk about during the uh, ingredient introduction because I didn't have it out for some reason is our dairy, our cream. Now, I said we want to make a bechamel sauce. I'm kind of sort of going backwards with it. 
probably should have added the cream and then you know, then that would have been the bechamel sauce but anyway didn't do that so anyway we're doing we're doing a a basham a reverse bechamel <laughs> i don't know if there's anything called that but anywho here we go so here comes in our cream and that's going to give us oh man nice silky smooth sauce i'm going to turn that down on low and get this all mixed up and then we're going to come in here you know what let's see what am i going to do you know what i'm going to add a couple of tablespoons two to four tablespoons of um our brandy maybe about right there and if it gets a little a little thick we'll add add a little bit more of that and then i'm going to come in here with well i thought i was here we go we're going to add you know what jumping the gun we got to add our our zest first just like so man i am hungry so that's why i kind of getting ahead of myself so we can just come in and we're going to add a little bit of this this zest just like so yes okay you know what that's good enough now i'm going to come back in and uh probably not going to add all of this maybe yeah we'll do that that's right there that's probably about a tablespoon of our lemon juice now whoop, what we don't want to do i thought i turned that down i don't want this to over overcook itself and and kind of get uh what they call a crack sauce we don't want that so i tell you what we're gonna do this and bring that oh, that's why i love these butcher blocks i can just pull something hot over here so you know and uh you know we, we we have been cooking with some of this cast iron lately and you don't have to worry not worry but be careful of of your of your of your pans because they stay hot a lot longer than you know a pan like this over here so now i'm going to come over and let's see we're going to add a little bit of parsley we've got about a teaspoon or so of cayenne pepper and about a teaspoon of um salt and then i'm going to come in here and voila I'll just do that right now just a little a little bit of that great hot sauce so we come in here and we're going to combine this up oh man i tell you what that is smelling yes smelling delicious heck yeah so i tell you what we're gonna do you know we can let this uh we're gonna let this simmer probably for another five minutes kind of thicken everything up heck yeah but i tell you what we are gonna do is give a little bit of a taste oh yeah <laughs> that definitely works like i said we're gonna we're gonna let this uh simmer for probably another five minutes and then we'll be ready to kind of sort of almost complete our lobster thermidor oh man i tell you what that is looking great yeah we got mm, we've got mm, man that's good we've got got back of a spoon coated our sauce is perfect it's ready to grab our little batch of yummies over here with or we got a lobster a crayfish we've got um our thyme which i'm gonna go ahead and make that disappear we got mushrooms our shallots and our green onions now it's time to come in we're gonna put this back in to our um our sauce right here our, our thermidor sauce get back in there yes sir now we're gonna come over i'll just leave you right here and we're just gonna kind of sort of oh yes do this add that back into our sauce and voila that right there is just about a bahamian lobster thermidor now all of a sudden we got a little dish right here again something else i forgot i don't know what's going on with me today we've got some parmesan cheese and we've got some white cheddar cheese that's going to go on top of our lobster thermidor so you know what we would do come in here put this put put our put our little goodies right here in here top it with our cheese in the oven it goes but speaking of that i'm going to go ahead and get that going voila and i said but because this right here is our bahamian lobster thermidor we're going to modify this recipe just a tad i'm going to come over with this and we will make this go away back here and now we're going to transform the bahamian lobster thermidor into a new 
uh, a new dish, a new recipe that I'm calling a low country Bahamian seafood thermidor. Yes, sir, because right here, we've got ourselves some low country shrimp. I've got them, you know, nice and, and diced up. I've got, um, I think I had six. These were large shrimp. And right here we got a, oh, I think we got about eight or ten little bay scallops. And then right here we also have some low country claw crab meats. That's going to kick this thing up to our new little recipe. So I'm going to come back over here with our small pan, our small cast iron pan. And we're going to just very quickly saute our our uh, our little shellfish right here and then they're going in there along with our crab meat then that's going in here and we're gonna top of the cheese and boom we will begin eating our uh, low country bahamian seafood thermidor heck yeah we are almost there here we go we are ready i put a little about a, about a half of tablespoon of butter in here let's see we'll grab another another wooden spoon and off we go Again, this is going to be very, very, a very, very quick saute because it doesn't take long at all for uh, scallops and shrimp to cook. And they're also going to be going in the oven here in a few minutes under the broiler, which will also add some heat to it. So, again, very, very quickly, boom, off we go. Heck yeah, I got a nice little sear on that. Heck yeah. So, in we go just like that. Oh yeah, shrimp are already starting to turn just a tad. Heck yeah, bump that back up some. And you know what, I'm probably gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add this, uh, our crab meat to that and actually kind of just heat that up just a tad, just like that. Oh yes, sirree. Hey, while these are doing their little bit of sauteing, I took the rest of that uh, lemon and added that in here. Oh heck yeah, those are, I tell you what, those are almost done. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add our crab meat in here kind of like that kind of give it just a little bit of a break up not a lot voila and we're going to just kind of sort of stir that around and i tell you i'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off of that right now and again all i'm trying to do is just barely get the scallops and the shrimp uh cooked and just trying to heat up that crab meat heck yeah i tell you what i think those are heck yeah man i almost wanted to take a <laughs> spoonful of that heck yeah our bohemian lobster thermidor is right there now we're going to come in here make sure that's not too hot and voila how about that here comes the low country side of our seafood thermidor just like so put you over there and we're just going to come in here get everything nice and coated just like this oh wow check all that out man mushrooms lobster uh, scallop shrimp crab i mean you can't go wrong with that can you <laughs> heck no heck no so speaking of that let's see let's go ahead bring our little pan over and you know what i think it's not too hot but heck you know me i'm sure i'd <laughs> hurt myself somehow so we're just going to come in here and we're going to add oh yeah just a nice little helping right there and this will be, we can be able to serve at least two, maybe three, heck, maybe even four people. But I tell you what, heck, I'm probably going to eat that whole thing here in a minute because I hadn't eaten all day. So anyway, that's the good thing about uh, having a little show like this. So now I'm going to come in. We're going to add, let's see, I'm going to come in here first with the white cheddar. Just like that and just kind of sort of top it. Oh man, yum. Voila, just like that. And I'm going to come in here with some, some Parmesan, do the exact same thing like that. I'm going to add a little bit more. Heck yeah, made a mess. I tell you what, we're going into the oven under, under a broiler. And I tell you what, that's going to be probably two or three minutes and it'll be time to eat. Heck yeah. Boom. Oh man, I tell you what, that is bubbling and looking pretty daggone good. Now let's see, the last time I'd took something out of the oven I kind of sort of kind of sort of burnt myself so I'm gonna be a little more extra careful this time heck yeah let me grab this guy right here go around oh wow yum check it out heck yeah man that thing is loaded up I'm gonna come in here with a little bit of 
a little bit of color maybe just like drop a few pieces of parsley on top kind of give a little bit of personality heck yeah just like so i don't know grab this guy maybe we'll just do uh let's see something like that i don't know what the heck just like that voila heck yeah now that's not the best looking thing in the world but hey you know what flavor is going to be awesome oh man check that thing out right there that is our what are we going to call it i guess we are going to go with the low country bahamian seafood thermidor but it all came from the bahamas uh the, the recipe from green turtle key the bahamian lobster thermidor then we did a few little low country twists to it and boom there it is our low country bahamian seafood thermidor heck yeah man check that thing out right there heck yeah make sure y'all get the recipe hey check out the link in the description down below heck yeah and if you're looking to maybe uh, start cooking with cast iron i got a little uh starter pack i guess you could say of of three cast iron pans uh it's a link down to amazon below hey give it a shot they're fairly reasonably priced not too bad hey right there <laughs> how about meeting street crab dish we cooked a while back similar to our thermidor and right there hey don't forget to subscribe to the channel like comment subscribe it all does help until next time god bless and we'll see y'all soon